from England. Uh, now, he died just a few years ago, back in 2012. Um, but he was renowned for his uh, symphonies and uh, works for wind instruments. And back in the 1960s, uh, he heard a man named uh, Arnold Jacobs in uh, the Chicago Symphony. And he was a monster of a player uh, from Chicago. And he was pretty much the penultimate tuba player. And he decided, Malcolm Arnold decided, that he was going to approach uh, Mr. Jacobs and talk to him about doing a solo, which there was already the Von Williams Tuba Concerto, which uh, uh, he was renowned for playing, because there was very few tuba concertos at the time. And then uh, Malcolm Arnold decided to write this for him. It's called Fantasy for Tuba. Uh, I have performed this at, I believe, my, my junior recital in college. It's not overly difficult, but it does stretch the imagination of where the tuba can go and the versatility of an instrument known for its umpaness. And instead of being this lyrical, beautiful thing like a clarinet or a trumpet, um, in the world of wind instruments, it was viewed as just long tones. So I'm going to play for you a little bit of fantasy for tuba. Uh, it's a solo tuba work, meaning there's no accompaniment at all. It is just tuba. It was it was uh, commissioned in 1969, and um, I think it was probably performed right thereafter. It was right for um, R.L. Jacobs, and he performed it in Chicago uh, back in yeah, 1969. So this is Fantasy for Tuba in 2023. <laughs> which means loud versus soft. Um, it's nice, slow, lyrical, has a jaunty melody. Dun, dun, dun. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That returns. It goes into another section here, uh, the Allegro section, which means faster. Um, and the tempo changed a little bit. You know, as a solo instrument, it's hard to convey that happening. So I'm going to play the end of this part portion and then go right into it. And you'll hear how it changes to a new movement. Thank <laughs> you. 
tell the difference in range and who knew the tuba could jump around and play around like that. So I hope you enjoyed Fantasy for Tuba by Malcolm Arnold. Uh, for in, in the world of tuba, this was a milestone because it all of a sudden in the world of avant-garde music of the late 60s, early 70s, there wasn't a lot written for this instrument, and it became all of a sudden a mainstay for directors, especially in college settings, to understand that tuba was more versatile and was a solo instrument. Uh, Arnold Jacobs, uh, of course, is the one who pushed for that. And by teaching at uh, Northwestern, uh, he taught a man named Rex, I can't remember Rex's last name, but Rex taught my former teacher, Tori Lawrence, and Tori Lawrence taught me how to play the tuba. So uh, I'm a Arnold Jacobs, you know, down the line lineage for that. Uh, and I was taught in the exact same way that Arnold Jacobs taught his teacher, and, or his, my former teacher's teacher. And um, so this piece is special to me because uh, it is part of my lineage in tuba performance. So I hope you enjoy. 